I'm Dave Criswell here at the Montague Bike State of the Art Development Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Octagon system on a bike. Before installing Octagon, you should also read the dealer installation instructions that come with the product, as well as visit the OctagonCycles.com website for any updates. Octagon can be attached to any inch and an eighth steel steer tube and is compatible with inch and an eighth stems. It should not be installed on carbon steer tubes and may not fit in some aluminum steer tubes due to a variation in their wall thickness. First, remove the stem. Then, remove the star nut from the steer tube by hammering it out with a wooden peg. Then, measure the amount of steer tube extending above the headset or top spacer. Optigon works with exactly 18 millimeters of steer tube showing. So, you will need to add spacers up to a maximum of 20 millimeters so that 18 millimeters of steer tube is showing at the top. Alternatively, you can cut the steer tube 18 millimeters above the headset or the top spacer. If you do, you should remove the top edge of the steerer and make sure no metal shaving remains inside the steer tube. Again, double check that you have exactly 18 millimeters of steerer tube showing. Next, remove the octagon collar from the octagonal extender by pushing in the brass button with a screwdriver. Slide the octagon collar over the steer tube with the quick release lever on the right hand side of the bike. The compression on the headset bearings must then be set using a headset press or a compression tool. If you are using a standard park type headset press, you may find the bottom piece does not fit into some force. If it doesn't, you can flip it upside down or you can simply use a simple flat pedal wrench instead. If you use a compression tool, just tighten it down. You can also use a standard furniture clamp like this, which is available at home centers and hardware stores. Once there is no play in the headset, yet the fork turns freely, use a torque wrench to tighten the collar bolt to 10 newton meters. Double check the 10 newton meters torque, as this is an important bolt for rider safety. After the collar is secured, insert the octagonal extender, making sure the scale is on the right hand side of the bike. The pin will engage, and you should hear it click into place. Then, attach the stem and handlebars as you normally would, by clamping to the top of the extender, following the manufacturer's recommendations for torque for the stem bolts. With the quick release lever open, push the adjustment button and raise the stem to its maximum height. Check that the brass button prevents the octagonal adjuster from coming out. Lock the quick release and turn the handlebars to the side to make sure the cable is long enough and if needed, adjust the cable length. You should also make a final safety check by holding the front wheel from turning between your legs and trying to turn or move the handlebars. There should be no relative movement between the front wheel and the handlebars. 